Berlin. Brad Pitt rocks a skirt to the Berlin premiere of Bullet Train. Why? Well, fashion, of course. It's such a subjective thing. But as he explains on the red carpet, there's also an added perk. Taylor Jones Let's break down his full ensemble. Brad hits the scene with his linen. Shalom, shalom, call her law, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is Only Begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets of Babylon, Camp down here in Temple, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who teach them well. Peace and salutations to the whole four legs scattered abroad. And uh, real quick, I want to touch on this video you see on the screen. It said, she said something about fashion. And I want to say, is it fashion or faggotry? <laughs> okay, because this is complete, you know, wickedness, man. It says Brad Pitt rocks a skirt on the red carpet. Okay, and this is a very famous actor. Okay, very, you know, renowned actor according to this world. And this is supposed to be fashion. This guy got on, you know, bum clothes and a damn skirt, you know, like a damn, you know, look mad madness, man. And some damn, you know, boots. <laughs> they call this fashion. Okay, this is the furthest thing from fashion, man. This is wickedness. And this is just a small example of how these devils will use, you know, statements like fashion and whatnot to, um, you know, promote wickedness, man. Because that's what this is. And all this is doing is trying to uh, push an effeminate spirit in this world. Okay, because you cannot conquer a nation without first taking over the man. You know, um, and we're gonna go into a a, a, a a little bit of that, but let's just go to show that this is just wickedness, man. And this place gotta be destroyed. But let's, let's start off with Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse five. It says, "A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man." Now, what is a man? What is pertaineth unto a man? Pants. Okay, so when you really go down to it, you know, a fourth time our women did not wear pants. That didn't happen until after the feminist movement where white women were complaining about, you know, be, not being able to, or being able to do the same thing a man can do and they started wearing pants. Now, how do you know that those pants are for men? Because there's a zipper in the front, okay, for a man to relieve himself if he has to go use the restroom. Now, a woman, when she has to use the restroom, she has to t come out of the pants. She has to take the pants completely off to use the restroom, showing you that it's not natural. She's not supposed to be in those pants, okay? But according to this world, now you got female pants. You got Sakari even saying how, oh, well, you got female pants. No, you guys are not in the spirit, man. The Lord's not dealing with you guys if you're saying shit like that, man. Okay? There's a saying that says, who wear the pants in the house? Because the man is supposed to wear pants. It says, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man ain't got no business putting on a woman's garment, which is a dress, a skirt. Okay, you name it, man. Okay, you name it. And you got Brad Pitt and up here looking like a fucking Sato. All right. And excuse my language, but, you know, hey, these things should piss you off, man. You know, because you got a lot of people that may so-called look up to, to, to this guy. And they thinking that, you know, this, this guy is their role model. And then they, you know, next, you know, they, and this is why Esau does this. Because they want, you know, to destroy your children. Okay. They want to destroy, destroy your children. The woman shall not wear which, which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. So you are an abomination, man. Okay? This is an abomination to, to, to do such things, to uh, dress in, in uh, such a uh, um, 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 uh, in such a tire. Okay? It's total, totally wicked. And unless you repent, um, you know, you're going to be destroyed. Now, we know Brad Pitt, you know, he, might, he, he could be a Jake. But now instead of the he's a heathen, okay, and he can't repent, you know. But for you, Jake says watching this, you so called Negro, Spanish, Native Indians, okay, um, you need to um consider, man, you know. This is um, <clears throat> this is um, Matthew chapter twelve, verse twenty eight. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of the Most High. Then the kingdom of the Most High is come unto you. 
or else how can ye enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except ye first bound the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. So that's what this devil is doing. They're getting rid of all the strong men. They're getting rid of, you know, they get some, got some called toxic masculinity, which is a completely against the scriptures, man. You know, and what that does is it puts men in a feminine spirit so that when it's time for them to actually be men, they're actually out here dressing like women. They're acting like women. OK, you, you got this video. I got to do a video on it. But all these reports coming out of this, um, the, the school shooting in Uvalde, where you got fucking damn near 400 police officers who did nothing, man. Now, now we know, now, 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 now we know that, you know, all that shit is, you know, he, he, uh, uh, here or there. But at the same time, you know, for the fact that it matter, you got video of, you know, co co police officers cowering, you know, like cowards, you know, gunshots ring off inside a, 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 a classroom with so-called kill kids in it. And they run, they turn around and they ran, man. They didn't go run to, 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 to the aggression. They didn't go run to, you know, heroism. They ran to cowardice, cowardism. And why? Because Esau is breeding a spirit of effeminate you know, fucking de de degenerate men out here, man. You know, where they think it's okay. He said, um, it's so subjective. <laughs> you know, you, th you think it's okay to be wearing a damn dress? So what he saw, what, he, what, what the devil does is, or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except first bind the strong man, then he will spoil his house. So, what, what this devil does is he gets in your mind, you know, with, with, with his media shit and shit, even, you know, fashion, as they say, with shit like this. And they'll say, oh, yeah, well, this is fashion. You know, you thinking that this, 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 this is cool and sweet and shit because Brad Pitt doing it. But you're not realizing that this man is effeminizing you, ultimately binding the strong man. OK, because once the man is destroyed, then you can, you know, then he can have his way with the children and the women. OK, and the women will follow Satan, you know, headstrong, you know. Just follow, just follow Satan and lead your children, you know, into, you know, madness, too. Now, you got kids growing up thinking that they was born this way and shit, man. Nah, you were, you know, taught these things. Okay, you were shown these things from who? The wicked, the devil. Okay? The devil. And the devil is in rulership right now, so this is the spirit that he is, that he is pushing. Okay, it says... And then he will spoil his house. And that's what this devil is trying to do. He's trying to spoil your house, man. Okay? Now, I don't know if... Brad Pitt has kids, but if you got kids, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. Okay. <clears throat> and don't get it twisted. That that that's what this is about, man. Okay, this is about an attack on on, on the youth. You know, because nonsense at a ten, a grown ass man, they're gonna say, Oh, yeah, I see Brad Pitt wearing a, a, a skirt. I'm gonna go put on a skirt. No, but a kid that looks up to Brad Pitt, you know, might. And this is why you gotta train your you train your children, you know, raise your children properly, especially in this wicked world that, that we are living in, man. OK, especially in this wicked world that we are living in, it says Proverbs chapter 22, verse three, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. You can't be simple, man. You, you, you should be able to see, you know, and understand what this whole agenda is right here, man. OK, and, 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 and avoid it, flee from it. But the simple will pass on and say, oh, it's just fashion. And they are punished, man. You're going to be punished for all this, man. This is pushing a demonic vibration in the earth. And this is from, you know, what, what this world would call a so-called renowned man on this earth, man. You know, by humility and the fear of Yahweh are riches. You see, by humility and the fear of Yahweh. Okay. You got to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai or you're going to be going off. You're going to be, you know, partaking in, in, in shit like this, man. Okay. And calling it fashion. All right. Not realizing that, hey, the most high is against us. He said this is an abomination. It says in honor and life. Verse six, train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. So when you, when you put this in the, you know, in the subconscious of children, you are training ch children in the way that, 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 that you think they should go. Okay. Or society thinks they should go. And it's really a way that they should not go. Okay. He says when he is old, when he, when he is old, he will not depart from it. Like I said, you got, you know, kids saying how oh, I was born like this. I was born like this. Why? Because it was trained in that way. And now they can't depart from it. They can't let it go. They have been destroyed. So what happens when thermonuclear missiles rain? All you effeminate, you know, going to be destroyed, man. Let me grab that, man. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. 
Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high? And this is unrighteous, man. This is not this is not righteousness. This is not, not how the, the order and way of things the Lord set things up. That's why he said it's subjective. Okay. Yeah, you're being subjected to wickedness and, and, and folly. People look at you crazy. They know this ain't right, man. You'll see kids, see, see, see a man in a dress, and they and they looking at him crazy because naturally that is not right. Okay? You only you won't ever see a fucking lion in the ocean, man. Okay. It says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor effeminate. Let's grab this word effeminate. Okay, we'll grab it in the blue letter. Because that, 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 that's what it says, man. That's what it this is, effeminate. Okay. And the Lord is not dealing with this spirit. If you think it's okay, if you think, oh, it's not a big deal, then don't worry about it. A missile, a missile coming. To help you figure it out, man. Okay, you got missiles on the way. You got. I just did a video about the, this Russian Poseidon. Hey, these motherfuckers are ready to send. You know, they, they got some shit, man. And the Lord put the spirit on these devils to make this stuff to destroy the wicked of this planet, man. Okay, as a judge, the Lord said He is known in His judgments. He and He wants the wicked gone. Okay. It says. Mm, Malakas. 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 Okay. Malakas. For it noon. That's the word for effeminate. It says soft. This nigga soft as shit, man. This nigga, you know, dolled up in some and 144 call while you hold by Shemel Shai. That's the time right now. 144. That's the spirit you hold by Shemel Shai, man. But this is soft, man. And the Lord said he's an austere man. Okay. The Lord said he's a man of war. The Lord said, gird up thy loins like a man. Okay, don't be soft. It says soft, soft to the touch, um, in a in a bad sense. <laughs> Effeminate. It says of a boy kept for homosexual relations with a man, ill, of a man who submits his body to unnatural lewdness. You see, you see that, that, that that's it's effeminate. This is a man who has submitted his body unto unnatural lewdness, man. Okay, unnatural. The Lord, the, the, the Lord is not in that spirit of lewdness. You grab this word lewdness in the dictionary. So you got to go into these words to get a deeper understanding of the situation at hand, man. Okay, to really understand what's going on. Okay. It says lewdness. Indecency or obs uh, uh, obscenity, vulgar sexual character or behavior. You see, vulgar sexual character or behavior. And that's what it says. Vulgar sexual character, man. Okay, let's go into this word vulgar. We're going we're gonna to break this all the way down for you, man. Uh, you want to make it as simple as possible. Okay. It says, look at this. <laughs> it can't vulgar. Characterized by ignorance or uh, uh, of a uh, of or lack of good breeding or taste. This ain't even good taste, man. This ain't even fashion. This is uh, ignorance, man. Lack of. Okay, you are lacking. It says uh, crude, coarse, unrefined. This is not the way the Lord set things for, for, for things to be. Okay. It says lacking in distinction. Uh, 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 aesthetic value or charm, banal, ordinary. Okay, so so you, you, you hey, you, you get the picture, man. Okay, but that's that spirit of of being effeminate, man, and that's the spirit that they are pushing. And the Lord said, "You shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High, being in that spirit, man. Nor abuses of themselves with mankind, being a mo." Okay. Now instead of the ten, when when a man puts you know this type of dressing on, you know they have you know um, other uh, feminine qualities or you know uh, spirits behind that man, you know so they may be a a a a a, 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 a undercover cross dresser and that's all this is this is cross dressing, okay Brad Pitt is a cross dresser if he and, and um if you follow behind this man 
You're going to be destroyed with him, man. All right, I ain't going to make this too long, but hey, shout out to you. Bash me on Shai. Bash me on Shai. Bash and Barakatham, you know, to, you know, the true brothers and sisters out there that truly believe in your whole Bashim Shai and truth and sincerity. Um, peace and salutations to hopeful legs scattered abroad. I pray this lesson was edifying to hopeful legs. Kwame Sharala of Baba Ball. Shalom.